Hey everyone, today I want to talk about Wukong combos, mechanics, tips and tricks, and other things you want to know before you play Wukong. Now let's get into the first thing. Wukong level 1 is really strong, often you skill E level 1. If you want to be aggressive, Q if you want to be defensive. And if you want to be super defensive, you can opt in for W. Now one thing you want to know is, if you go for E here, against most champions you're stronger than them. Sure, maybe against the Darius you're probably going to lose, but not every champ is Darius. Most champs you're stronger than them. One thing you can do, let's say you expect the enemy to start topside. The enemy top laner is going to help his jungler topside. Oop, you can sneak into this bush, wait a little bit. He comes, you auto E and then you start finding him. By doing that, you often get a massive lead early game. It's a really, really big strategy that you want to utilize. Now, another thing to note is, if you're in the lane, the minions are coming, the opponent's up here, and it's a laner you think you can beat, then you should skill E and you should start pushing. You don't want to push crazy fast, you want to have like two or three hits above him. Um... And by pushing like that, you actually have a massive advantage because you're really strong. But if you don't push against most laners, you actually lose as Wukong, from my experience. Now, if you want to play passive, you have the Q, you want the opponent to push you in. You just want to sit back, use your Q. Your Q gives you extra range. This is one thing to note. If you look at my auto attack right now, it's here. If you look at my Q, however, it's all the way out here, right? It's a massive range difference, and you want to utilize that to your advantage. Now, obviously, level 1 is not going to be as much. It's going to be very small, and it gets better and better every time you level it up. At level 9, it's around this range, which is huge. So the thing is, if you play passive, you skill Q first, and you're expecting the enemy to be strong on you, just play kind of passive, just last hit, Q for some minions and so on if you need to, depending on the lane. Let him push you in, get your levels, and then once you're 6, you actually start becoming really strong. Now let's get into some other combos that you want to think about. So the combos you generally want to think about is something stand standout, like an auto attack Q, very easy to pull off. Then you have the E auto Q, also pretty easy to pull off if you do it properly. These combos are vital to know and be able to pull off, because a lot of people are going to try and pull off, and then they do this. That was an E Q instead of an E auto Q. You want to do it properly. So it's really important you practice this. You can do it in practice about 5 minutes a day, it doesn't really take that long. Now, there's also more complicated things that you need to know. There's a E auto Q and then you W, and then you start running. You can run up, you can run down, depending on what you want to do. Maybe you want to get behind them because your jungler is ganking, and you don't want them to know where you're going. A lot of ways to play around with that. Um, then there's also some more complicated things that I actually most people don't even know about, I think. And it's the... One thing you can do is you can auto Q and then W. Look here. And your clone gets the Q off. Then power Q if you do it fast enough. Which you actually use um, the W before you hit the Q. Like look at that. It goes off, right? But the thing is, you click auto, Q, then W. You use it. And the clone gets the damage off as well, which is really, really powerful. A lot of people don't know you can do that. And it's just faster than doing it the normal way. Then another thing you want to do is the EQW. This is really important to know this one. Again, you get it off in time if you queue beforehand, so you can get the entire combo faster. And then if you want to, you can also combine this with the ultimate, where your EQW ultimate. And then this is the number one combo you want to know for all enemy people. Because that way you do the most damage, because you can instantly proc your ultimate, right? You proc it faster than last time, it's super, super powerful. So let's do it one more time, EQW ultimate. Here you go, and you see how fast it is and how much damage you do. Now, generally, this is a combo you only want to use if you're the one going in and you want to all-in the opponent. Mostly, how a team fight is actually going to look is this is how mostly you want to have it. When you play Wukong, you want to be against champions that are going to go into you and going to try and chase your team, while your team hopefully is something with a little bit more poke or walking backwards. Because chasing people with Wukong kind of sucks unless you can get in on them instantly and one more combo them. In that case, it's pretty good. So often what you're going to do is you're going to walk up to somebody, auto Q and then run away. Or oh, just W twice, that's weird. Auto Q, W and just walk away. And then you can use ultimate to kind of zone people, right? Or you can just do it like that as well and then just start walking away. Generally that's how most fights goes. But in some cases you want to use the other mechanics I talked about right now to get on them quickly and just burst them down. And you got to know them. Anyways, that's it for my combo guide. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, boys.